Welcome to 5 Minute School. Today's video we're going to be talking about the composition of plasma. We're going to mention and we're going to give a brief definition of blood plasma. We're going to talk about the three main plasma proteins and we're also going to talk about plasma volume. So what is blood plasma? It's a straw colored liquid which consists of water and dissolved solutes. The main solute is sodium ions but it also contains other ions like bicarbonate and calcium ions. It contains hormones, for example, insulin and testosterone, and it also contains enzymes such as creatine phosphokinase. You can see in the image here the straw-coloured blood plasma here. It consists of 55% of the total blood. The erythrocytes make up 45% of the total blood. Now, the plasma proteins, it consists of 7 to 9% of plasma, so these proteins make up 7 to 9% of plasma. The three main types, albumins, globulins, and fibrinogen. Albumins are the smallest in size, but it's the most common, so it's the majority. And it's produced by the liver and provides an osmotic pressure needed to draw water from surrounding tissue fluid into the capillary. So it helps to draw in fluid from the surrounding tissue fluid into the capillaries and it helps to maintain blood pressure and volume. The other type of plasma proteins are globulins. Now globulins, there are three main types, alpha, beta and gamma. Both alpha and beta globulins are produced by the liver and they transport lipids and fat soluble vitamins. That's their function. Gamma globulins, they are antibodies and they are produced by lymphocytes and have an immune function. The third type of plasma protein is known as fibrinogen and it's 4% of the total plasma proteins. It's very important in clotting and it's produced by the liver and during the process of clot formation it is converted to insoluble threads of fibrin. Okay, so these are the three main types of plasma proteins. Now, just to end this video, let's talk about plasma volume. So there are many mechanisms within the body to maintain homeostasis of plasma volume. If the body loses water, remaining plasma becomes very concentrated and therefore its osmolarity is going to increase. And this increase in osmolarity is detected by osmoreceptors in the hypothalamus, resulting in the sensation of thirst and release of antidiuretic hormone, otherwise known as ADH, from the posterior pituitary gland. Okay, so that's everything I want to discuss in today's video in regards to uh, the composition of blood plasma and plasma volume. Thank you very much for watching.